This is the blue verified badge. It is given to the accounts that are legit and belongs to a public figure or business. This badge is highly sought after because they represent authenticity and credibility. But here's the thing, it's not easy to get one. Social media platforms have strict requirements to determine whether you're a real well-known public individual or a business enterprise. It's a long process that not everyone can pass. However, things have recently changed. You can obtain this badge with just one thing. If you're willing to pay, you can get that blue badge on your account even if you're not a public figure or have a business. In 2021, Twitter made a historic announcement by launching its first ever subscription service, Twitter Blue. For only $8 a month, you can have exclusive access to a range of features and perks such as bookmark folder, and do tweet function, reader mode, and so much more. But the most exciting feature of Twitter Blue is undoubtedly the coveted blue check badge. There are no requirements for this subscription, which is the reason why it became one of the most chaotic events in the digital era. From Nintendo, who posted Mario with his middle finger, to Ellie Lilly and company, who tweeted that their insulin is free to the public, these fake accounts dominated Twitter, causing massive confusion and frustration as well as significant financial consequences. This led to the masses criticizing Twitter for the unplanned and impulsive program that killed the iconic blue check badge for official accounts of well-known public personalities, companies, and governments. In response, Twitter postponed its subscription service and worked diligently to revamp its verification process. And after months of intensive efforts, the program was relaunched in December 2022 with new and improved features as well as robust security measures to prevent further abuse. Meanwhile, Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, also introduced a similar subscription scheme called Meta Verified earlier this year. For a monthly cost of $11.99 to $14.99, users can receive the verified blue badge and a range of features including improved visibility on both platforms, priority customer service, protection against impersonation, and so much more. To avoid the chaos made by Twitter, Meta has established strict participation requirements including users being at least 18 years old and providing a government-issued ID that matches their name and photo on the platform. However, isn't it crazy to think that these companies who worth billions of dollars are willing to give up the exclusivity of this badge and sell it out for a subscription fee? It raises the question, what's the motivation behind this program? It seems like one of the reasons why social media tech giants are jumping on the subscription trend is because their ad revenue has reportedly declined in the past few years. To stay afloat, they've had to rethink their strategies and make some big changes. Unfortunately, that meant laying off thousands of employees. But it's not entirely clear why their ad revenue has been declining. But some experts believe that it's because retailers and advertisers are becoming more conservative with their digital marketing budgets. With all the market downturns and economic uncertainty, it's not surprising that everyone is being a little more careful with their spending. However, these companies are pointing fingers at one specific brand as the cause of their decline. In 2021, Apple rolled out a significant privacy feature to its operating system. This feature allowed iOS users to take control of their personal data by giving them the option to disable app tracking for specific applications. While this feature was a win for user privacy, it had an unintended consequence for some tech companies. As a result, the accuracy of ads displayed by these companies has been affected. The feature limits their ability to track user activity on the platform, which in turn makes it difficult for them to target ads effectively. This has caused a significant drop in revenue, leading to frustration and finger-pointing at Apple. This introduction to the new era of achieving the blue check badge could have serious consequences for social media platforms. 
one of the major consequences is that it could dilute the meaning and value of the badge. The badge is currently highly sought after because it is difficult to obtain and only awarded to public figures and businesses who met the strict criteria. However, if anyone can obtain a badge through a monthly payment, it could lead to an influx of accounts that have not earned the badge through legitimate means. This could ultimately lead to a decrease in the perceived value of the badge and a loss of trust in the platform as a whole. 